Hello and welcome. My name is Bridget and I'm here today with the Melton Learning Directory to show you how you can calculate the cost of your household electrical appliances. By doing this, you can get an idea of how much each item in your home may cost to run. You can also calculate how much an item costs you throughout your billing cycle. And you can also use this as an opportunity to identify items you may want to use less. If you would like to follow along at home, you'll need the following items, a copy of your electricity bill and a pen and paper or a device. Step one. Okay, to begin, you will need to check your electricity bill to see how much you pay per kilowatt hour. This here is a copy of one of my electricity bills that I will use as an example throughout this video. And you can see here that I'm charged about 27 cents per kilowatt hour. Now that we know how much we are charged per kilowatt hour, the next step is to select a household electrical appliance to use in your equation. Once you have selected your item, check the label to see if the input power is in watts or kilowatts. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use my electric heater as the appliance I want to calculate today. Here is the label from the heater, and I can see that it shows 2000 watts. I need to convert watts into kilowatts. To convert watts into kilowatts, you divide the watts by 1000. So if we use my electric heater's watts as the example, we have 2000 watts that I need to divide by 1000. So 2000 watts converts to two kilowatts because 2000 divided by 1000 equals two. Step three is to figure out how many hours a day you're using your appliance. For your calculations, you can guess the average time you use the appliance each day, or you can take note of the amount of hours you utilize your appliance for a more precise calculation. All right, now we know the price we are charged per kilowatt hour. We know how to convert the input power from watts to kilowatts, and we also know how many hours a day we use the appliance. We can now calculate the cost. So we know my electric heater uses two kilowatts. So to calculate the cost per hour, we use the following equation, two times 0.27. Remembering my bill showed me that I am charged 27 cents per kilowatt hour, and my appliance uses two kilowatts. So two times 0.27 equals 0.54. So I can see that my electric heater costs me 54 cents per hour to run. Now that I know how much my heater costs to run per hour, I can use this information to calculate how much it costs me per week to run. Have a think about how many hours per week you're using your electrical appliance. I've estimated that I use my heater about five hours a day, seven days a week, and five times seven is 35. So in total, that's 35 hours a week that I'm using my heater. Now we can calculate the weekly cost of running our appliance. Again, I'll use my electric heater for this example. So I know I use it 35 hours a week and that I calculated the hourly running cost to be 54 cents. So now we do 30 times 0.54, which equals 18.90. So my electric heater costs me $18.90 per week to run. Let's now figure out the cost of our appliance per billing cycle. I receive my bill every three months, so that's an average of 12 weeks per billing cycle. To calculate the cost of an appliance over a three month billing cycle, we use the following equation. So we use the number of weeks and then we times that by the weekly cost that we calculated earlier. So in this case for my electric heater, it will be 12 times 18.90, which equals 226.80. So from this equation, I can see that my heater costs me $226.80 per billing cycle to run. So you can see now that by calculating the cost of your electrical appliance, you can get an idea of how much of your bill is due to that particular item. And this is also a great way to preempt upcoming bills by calculating your estimated use of your electrical appliances. Here's an overview of what we now know. 
We can now understand how much an item can cost to run. We can also now calculate the item cost throughout a billing cycle. And we can also use these calculations to identify items we may want to use less. And also we can use these calculations to preempt future usage. I hope you found today's video helpful and are now able to use this information to help calculate the cost of electrical appliances in your own home. Thanks so much for watching.